Hey guys, so for today's video, we're gonna be unboxing some boxes, and these are all PR boxes, and um, yeah, ah! some Ipsy boxes, so Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus. And then I have a box of charm base and then a box of charm premium. I actually got these boxes a little bit while ago and I just been so behind of my videos or with everything else with my content creation. I think it's because summer's just been so hard on me. Because I record in the second floor, that's why. So I thought, you know what, let's just unbox these together and I'm actually gonna record another video after this. I'm gonna do my I paid glam bag plus and my box of charm base paid boxes so i'm going to record that video right after this one but these are pr boxes gifted by ipsy and boxycharm i always have to be honest with you guys i did unboxes way before because i got them way i don't know like a few. i think the boxycharm boxes i received it about a week ago and then the ipsy almost two weeks ago so yeah i've been behind and i just barely took some pictures yesterday so i could share it on my my spoiler page that's why before like the product gets all messy and dirty all right so we're just gonna start with the box of charm base box when it comes to the box of charm the pr boxes like when they don't really give us a tracking number for it like it shows in like in my what you call it in my apps like something from boxy charm but it's like i can't track it at all like it doesn't really give me an exact tracking number so it doesn't show any info on it it's one pounds and 9.2 ounce so i'll convert that to whatever that is so for this month's theme for box charm is fantasy i love anything about ocean or seas Ugh, you know i love it and fantasy reminds me of that song fantasy fantasy Ooh. i don't know i forgot how it goes so i'm just gonna go pretty fast so if i'm going too fast it's because well we have a lot to go through so okay so first thing up we're gonna go with this item because it is like one of a choice items but i didn't get to pick anything from this box so i already know since i have a spoiler page i know this is a choice item so we're gonna start with this so this is a pharmacy whipped greens oil free foaming cleanser and this is worth 28 dollars and this is also like a new release if if i got that right i got one for my aia beauty box bundle i wanted the pharmacy like beauty bundle like i really wanted it and i tried this out so i guess i have an extra cleanser and you guys i really love this cleanser so much it it feels like it's not so harsh like it's i like the way it feels it's very soap sunny and but i think later throughout the day i think my face does get a little bit oily after using this so probably because it's oil free like i feel like when i wash my face like i feel like oh all my oils is gone but later out throughout the day i get that oil back so but i still love this cleanser so much and it comes out like kind of like a greenish paste right here's the packaging and i don't and the one i have is downstairs so it's like a green paste so it is sealed and it smells really good so if you guys have any of the pharmacy products like the green line like the cleansing bomb it kind of smells similar to that one like kind of almost like a lime like scent it's probably when i have this video up i did record in my aia beauty box bundle but i'm not sure if i'll have time to even like edit that video because i recorded that video like two weeks ago <laughs> so see you guys i just been so behind during summer i honestly guys i really love this cleanser and i'm actually really happy that i have an extra one because this cleanser is probably the second best cleanser i've ever tried my number one favorite is by it's a cleanser by it's cosmetic that cleanser is amazing for me and this one's like a close second so that's pretty good okay so the next item right here so this is by generation skin this is a hydrating marine algae eye patches and this is worth 49.99 so i wasn't really expecting it to be that much but you guys i really wanted this from what i've seen in spoilers I'm like oh that seems so cool because they're blue it's, it's like blue eye patches and it comes in a container instead of like a like the plastic sleeves and i like that a lot and i did open this but i haven't got a chance to try it out so it's pretty liquidy so you have to be careful and it does come with like a little spatula right here and yeah i think that's pretty neat so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be using this i love eye care so much i feel like there was more liquid in here but while i was taking pictures it was kind of hot up here while i was taking pictures it was dirty like the golden hour almost and i feel like there was more liquid and i think the heat kind of brought it down oh um, but it feels very like very gooey like it like it just feels so good the only concern i have is that hopefully it doesn't burn my eyes because sometimes i have that issue with certain eye patches or you know eye mask so i'm really looking forward to this 
I'll try to use it tonight and then I'll do a little caption thing to see how I like it. Okay, so right here's the next item. So these are some sponges and this is by the brand M2UNYC and it's for $20. So oh oh my gosh, I'm so clumsy. Okay, so these sponges are super super cute. Like it's the outside packaging. So this is how like, they look. They look so cute on the outside. And they're like different shaped sponges. So I'm not sure if I'll save these for myself or maybe for later on but it says it's latex free and they're super soft and here's the next item and this is by the dermalec and it's the alcrease retinol trifecta serum and this is worth 39 dollars so i never heard of this brand ever like never heard of this brand before and it's supposed to be it's supposed to target the looks of fine lines wrinkles thick skin and sun damage the anti and anhydrous formula features three tremendously effective forms of retinal reactives in a concentrated micro and capsulated delivery system. Oh, that's an awful. But it's a pretty decent size. It's like a bright red little packaging. So sorry, my nails are kind of crusty. I haven't had a time to do my nails, so I'm sorry, guys. So yeah, it's a pretty decent size. I'm not sure if I'll save this for myself or for later on because I, ha I have a thing about skincare like my beauty fridge is full right now so I'm trying to pan out a few things before I try this but I don't know this brand I never heard of it so let me know if you try this out like how did it go for you and now finally the last item is by Billion Dollar Brows and it's a brow pencil yeah it's a brow on point micro pencil and this is worth $16 so not a bad price it's a little pricey this is in a shade top so top is supposed to be like a universal color and sometimes the shade top works out for me sometimes no looks it comes with like a little brush oh look at that oh my gosh that truck okay but look at it's super super thin this will be really good for to make precise strokes very thin natural like looking natural looking strokes so I'm looking forward to trying this out. So that was everything on base box and it's not that bad. I'll rate it, if I were to rate this bag, I'll probably rate it maybe a four stars. And when it comes to my ratings, I am kind of nice about my ratings. I'm not very like super negative. I am honest with my reviews or my ratings or whatever, but I'm just a little bit on the nice side. And so now we're gonna move on to the premium box. And you guys, I wasn't sure if the, um, there's some kind of like a small surprise in there. <laughs> so for this one, it is a takeover box. So it's like an Arena Anastasia Beverly Hills takeover box. So before we unbox this, I'm gonna weigh this real quick because I haven't had a chance to weigh it. So I could just show you guys. This is two pounds, 14 ounce, and 14.2 ounce. So I'll just convert that, whatever it is. And you guys, okay, so when I open the box, you guys kind of seen the surprise, right? There's like, so instead of cushion like there's like like almost like a easter i forgot what you call these things but it's made out of paper and you just fold it it's like a little confetti almost so i was really surprised to see that so i'm not sure if that weight will be like really accurate because maybe the person might put too much on some boxes okay so this is variation 231 so i'm not sure how many exactly variations you have but honestly i don't think they have that many variations anymore like back then i think back then it seems like a lot more different variations so we're just gonna jump into the box and let's start with the choice items like what would the choice item would have been so so we're gonna start with the palette of course so this palette is the purple one this is the norvina palette and it's the volume one and this is worth 60 dollars guys so I did open it when I was taking pictures of it and I didn't swatch it though. So this one, I actually picked this to my paid box, which I'm still waiting for my premium. I think it's gonna come here maybe tomorrow or the day after, but now I'm gonna have like an extra purple one. So I also spent like money to buy the orange one as an add-on too. So I guess it was a good thing I bought the orange one. Packaging is beautiful, so freaking gorgeous. The packaging is so nice. So this is how the palette looks and I'll do some quick swatches. Oh, look at that color story. Very, very interesting. Very, um, you have your blues, your reds, and purples, and pink. So some of the mats, I did have to double swatch them. So that was A2, A3, A5, B1, B4, B5, C1. Um, I did a double swatch that one. That one swatched okay. So I did a double swatch since it's just white. <laughs> and then the C4. I had trouble 
swatching this so i had to double swatch it and then c5 was fine and the rest of the mask they swatched better than the ones on top and the shimmers i had no trouble swatching the shimmers on the formula the way it feels it feels pretty much like the same one because my very first Norvina palette is the fit one so i bought that one when it got released and i do have a review on that one so if you guys are interested i'll leave the link up there and i fell in love with that palette so much and the formula swatching it it feels pretty much the same it felt velvety smooth and very soft but oh yeah so i'm looking forward to whatever looks i'm going to come up with that palette so the next item that would be probably a choice item oh yeah i guess it's the hydrating oil i think that's from the second category oh yeah and this is worth 45 dollars so very pricey and what is this for i think it's before i think you put this before you apply makeup it says hydrating oil it's a lightweight blend of mediterranean botanical extracts that deliver antioxidants and nourishing hydration to the skin this complexion boosting facial oil leaves you with glowing radiant skin softened fine lines and improved tone and texture so i'm not super into oils right now like currently during the summer i'm trying to stay away like not to put so much stuff on my face because i am still on a journey to clear out my forehead breakout so maybe in the winter my face used to be dry back then it used to be like flaky but i don't know i don't really have that much to say about this item but i'm not sure if i'll use it or not but we'll see the next item i have right here is a loose highlighter and this is $25 and I got the shade Peach Fit so that one's like a pink goldish shade so let me just open it up it's a packaging this it's freaking cute like I thought from the um, pictures it would be actually like a glitter texture but it isn't it's a very it's like a smooth finish but look at the glitter it's such a cute packaging swatch oh yeah it's very pretty look at that Ooh it's so pretty wow so yeah i'm not sure Ooh, it got i had a chunk right there that i have to yeah it's so pretty like that this will look i think this will look very good on um, darker complexions i like has a highlight but i don't think i can make it work for me so i probably can use it as a on my eyeshadow but that's about it but it's really pretty and even though it's like a loose like loose consistency a loose powder consistency like it blends very easily so that's pretty cool okay so the next item right here i'm really excited about so this is a um, dewy setting spray and and this is worth 26 dollars and this says it's a coconut vanilla scented setting spray that seamlessly blends products together as it sets makeup and leaving the complexion with the dewy never oily radiant finish it smells like pretty sweet i know i always put too much setting spray whoa it smells really good like it kind of got on my lips and tastes kind of sweet so i'm we're just gonna let that dry to see how it goes but so far it's looking pretty dewy this spray so the last two items so i'm gonna go really quick over so i have a brush a little tiny brush and this is a it's a dual ended eyeshadow brush and this worth 16 dollars oh my gosh almost looks like the same brush that comes with the other abh palette it's dual ended so for sure i'll use this i kind of like dual ended brushes and this one's very tiny so i don't really mind it but the only thing and this was gifted to me so i'm happy that to receive this box but if i were to pay this box i would be kind of upset to receive this small of a brush to be counted as an item but that's just me but i feel like a lot of people agree with that though and right here's the last item and so this is a clear brow gel and this is for 22 dollars and i actually have one already so this one was gifted by my friend rochelle <laughs> but yeah it's actually pretty good oh so i i really love the benefit brow gel the clear brow gel that one's like such a good one it has a, a pretty strong hold but like this one doesn't have as strong as a hold has a benefit one but it's actually still pretty good so I'll probably save this maybe for a future giveaway because I don't need any more brow gels. <laughs> I'll try different brands but I kind of know how it is and it's okay. But that was everything in the BoxyCharm Base and Premium. So for the Premium, um, I mean you're paying $35 so if, it, if I were to pay this box and if I get this version, I would have been like kind of bummed a little bit. But either way, it's still worth it because the palette is worth $60. And wow, that's expensive. And then you get the setting spray. And yeah, I'll say this version is okay. It's probably not my favorite from what I've seen, but it's alright. I think the base box is actually better. 
Okay, so a quick update about the sinister. Yeah, it did leave my face looking more dewy, but it's also doing something to my face. I'm not sure if my face needs to get used to it, but I kind of feel a burning sensation a little, and that's so sad. Um, I might have to get used to it because another sinister spray that does this to me, and when I haven't used it in a while, is um, it's the Item Beauty One Hit Setting Spray. I love that setting spray, but. Sometimes if I don't use it for a while, it'll burn my face like this almost. So I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's a coconut. <sighs> so now that we went over the box to our boxes, we're going to go over the Ipsy Open Studio boxes. First thing I'm just going to show you guys, since it's right on top, I did open it because I did use it for part of my pictures. So this is a heap. It's like a cover-up thing. It's by the brand Ayo Soli, and it's like a collab with Ipsy. So it's like this, like a wrap. So it's really nice actually. So I'm not sure when I'll get to use it, but like the material of it is very, very nice. Like you could just use it for pictures too. Like it's such a nice cloth and it has like a little like small texture to it. Or you could just use it as a wrap, you know, when you go to the beach. So yeah, you can use it for a lot of things. Okay, so I'm really trying not to make this video too long. So we're gonna go through the stuff pretty fast. So we're gonna start with the bags and also for this month's theme for Ipsy, it's Stay Golden. So, right here's the bag for the glam bag. So, this is a $12 glam bag. And it's pretty cute. Pretty cute. Not ugly at all. <laughs> and right here's the zipper chain. I think the zipper chain is super adorable. I love it so much. And I love the teal, like, pop of color, too. Very nice. So, we have the Brio Joe Superfoods Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Hair Mask. So, I haven't had a chance to use this. I do have another one that I got. I think I got it in a mystery bag or something, but I haven't had a chance to use this. But I know Brujo is a really good brand, and now I have more. I'm not sure if maybe I'll save this for a future giveaway. And then I have another item right here that I've already tried, but this is like a. I have my, one of my own, but this is like a new one that I haven't opened, so I'm not sure. Maybe I'll gift this instead. So this is a Tarte Quench Hydrating Primer. So this primer is super, super amazing. It has like a water gel texture and it feels very cooling on the skin. It's actually a really good primer. So maybe I'll keep it for myself. But And then the next item right here is by It's Cosmetics Lash Blah Mascara. So I have this mascara too. This mascara, it's alright. It's alright. So right here's the bristles. Very like oval-like. Very chunky a bit <laughs> i think it kind of flakes a little bit for me maybe um i don't use it that much like i don't use it enough to like remember the last two items it's the glam glow super month clearing treatment thing they also gave this <laughs> i think the same item too like last month in my last month ipsy open studio so i haven't had a chance to use it i'm not sure if i want to use it though so and then the last item right here is by kvd cake pencils i have tried this and it's super super dark very dark and it's really tiny too so look at that i barely like touched my hand and it's super dark so i've used this on my waterline i haven't used it to make a, a cat eyeliner when it comes to ipsy stuff like ipsy open studios like the stuff that are gifted to influencers or beauty vloggers and all that and I wouldn't say they're like accurate variations of like what other people will receive. It's just showing you like what kind of items that you might receive, but not saying like the variation you'll receive in your bag. But yeah, I would say these brands are pretty solid. So, all right. So now we're gonna move on to the Glam Bag Plus. So for the Glam Bag Plus right here, it comes with a drawstring bag. So, and um, the Glam Bag Plus is $25 a month for five full size items. And you get to pick three items out of five. And to, for choice day for Glamac Plus is always the second of every month. So for August 2nd, it's going to be Glamac Plus and Glamac X presentation. So if you sign up for Glamac X, it will replace your Glamac Plus. And if you have Glamac and signed up for Glamac X, like if you actually have a spot for Glamac X, then whichever bag you have, it will replace whatever bag you have to get the Glamac X. So if you have Glamac and Glamac Plus, then I will place your Glamac Plus. So I'm very excited for August 2nd. So uh, I don't think I'm gonna sign up second count for Glamac Plus. I think I'm just gonna stick with the Glamac X because I love Glamac X so far. It's been so great. So the bag design is pretty cool right here. So this is by the MOTD and they're like gold like brushes. So this was a golden gem bronzer brush. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is like super soft. And this one's a cheeky, get cheeky with it. So it kind of looks like a contour brush, like a sharp contour brush. And this one is a sculpt brush. 
So I think this would be very good for the nose. So right here, to scope it. Um, I think that's all I can think of, just the nose. This one's probably like a sharper contour right there. And this one, well it says bronzer, so you could use this for bronzer. Or like right here too. You know, I have a thing about gold. Like I don't like certain gold colors, but this gold, the way it looks, it looks really nice. I like the foilness to this, how this looks like all crinkled up a little bit. It looks like it's just a nice texture. And this Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask. So I actually have a box of these too. It comes with five, or it comes with six actually. Yeah, it comes with six pairs. And they look like foils right here. So they look like that. And you guys, these eye masks are seriously, seriously so good. Like, they stay on your under eyes. Like, they don't move at all. Like, it feels so comfortable. Like, they just stay on. Because you know some eye masks, sometimes they kind of slip off and you have to, like, kind of bring them back up. Well, these don't. And they're really good. And once you take them off, like, after 15 minutes, you should leave them on at least for 15 minutes. Like, 30 minutes is a good enough time, too. Like, 30 minutes is perfect, actually. So when you remove them, like, I notice that my under eyes, the wrinkles... It kind of smooths them out a bit so i really like them but i've tried this and i don't like it so this is by juice beauty and it's spf 30 oil free moisturizer and i don't like it because it felt like it's it was so thick i couldn't even rub it in on my face so i'm not sure if maybe i put too much but let's just test it on my hands see and the and the scent of it i don't like the scent of it like lemon or orange zest that's how it smells like to me like zest and you guys, I barely put a little bit, so we're gonna rub that in. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my god, look so white. Yeah, guys. That is very hard to rub in. So when I first got the box, I put it on. I put too much and my face was white. So maybe I just put a little bit, but oh the smell. This is very zesty and kind of has a sweet smell to it too. So it's kind of like a weird zesty sweet mess. Ugh, I mean scent. Yeah, I don't like it. So right here I have the Beauty For Real Golden Hour Palette. So this is actually a pretty new release. I think it came out probably maybe a month and a half ago. And you guys, this palette, it's pretty pretty. I really like the color story so much. That it has that summer, you know, summer look, summer sh story whatever color story it's so pretty i love oranges goldish tones and especially this blue shade and you guys for today's look i did use this palette and okay so my makeup's probably melting so ignore the little creases on my nose from my glasses <laughs> but look at this you guys so pretty so i use a so i use the blue shade so i actually use almost all the shades yeah, I use all the shades except these three shades for today's look. So I really like it. The pink shade right here, the pink sands. Oh, so pretty. It's kind of chunky though. So I kind of use it right here in the inner. And I did use my finger, but it comes out pretty chunky and like kind of falls off. I think the formula of it is kind of chunky like. So there is fallout in these shadows, so you have to be careful. Look at that crumbleness. The blue one's so pretty though. This shade's so pretty. The orange matte. I love the orange matte a lot. It's such a pretty color. Um, I wouldn't say it's super pigmented, but it's not like it's in the middle. So I like the orange a lot. And this one's okay too. This pink is very chunky, and this one's yeah, it's kind of chunky too. But this is more chunkier than that one. This one's a little bit chunky, but it's more smoother than these two. And th these two are smooth. So I think pretty soon, I'm not sure when, but I think eventually I'm going to do a declutter eyeshadow video. I'm not sure when I'm going to get to it. Maybe like two months from now or one month from now. I'm not sure how how it's going to be or when it's going to be. But uh, I think when I'm decluttering this, I'll probably keep this because I really do like the color story. The only thing is just the formula of it. It's, it has a lot of fallout. It has that crumbling texture to it. But I really like the shade, so I'm going to keep this for sure. Finally, the last item right here is by Fenty Beauty, and so that's by Rihanna, and it's the Stella Lip Paint Longwear Fluid Lip Color in the shade Unlock. So this is the bright pink color. And guys, the packaging is really, really gorgeous. So I don't think I'm gonna, yeah, the packaging is super gorgeous. So I don't think I'm gonna keep this. So I'm not sure. I'll probably save it maybe for a future giveaway or something. But I know when it comes to this pink shades. I'm not really a fan of my lips or even my nails. I don't really like the shade on my nails either. 
but i feel like when i put them shades like this it makes me look more darker i don't really like making myself look super dark but that's how i feel like they had two other shades the i forgot what they're called but they, it was like a mauve like shade and then there was a red like shade i think the red shade is probably better than this shade in my opinion well of course the mauve shade too the mauve shade is beautiful but the red shade would have been better than this pink that was everything in the boxy charm and ipsy pr boxes and you know i decided to do it in one video hopefully hopefully it's not too long but i really hope you guys enjoy my little review and unboxing and share my honest opinion to you guys if you guys do make sure to give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below what you guys see what you guys are looking forward to getting in your boxy charm or ipsy box let me know and yeah so i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys